Hey guys, it's Nick from Make It Mazio, and this is my daughter Ava, and she really likes to dress up, right, Ava? Mm -hmm. So, hold on. This is how many dresses she has. Hold on, watch. We really needed a place to put all these costumes and dresses, so that's why we built this. Dad built me this. So the first thing I had to do was break down the 4x8 sheets of 3 quarter inch plywood into the sides and the bottom of the dress up station. Then by putting a screw in the center of the board, I tied a sharpie to the string and traced the round top. And then cut out that shape with a jigsaw and sanded down the edge to get the final shape. Then using that first piece, I traced the rounded edges and cut out the shape again. Then I just cut out what would be the bottom of the dress up station and screwed the bottom to the sides and added a piece in the middle that will eventually be a shelf. Then I was able to stand it up and cut down a dowel to use as a rod to hang up the dresses. Then using a forcer bit, I was able to cut out the holes to accept the dowel. Then using the circular saw, I was able to cut down the shelves to their rough sizes. And use a table saw to cut down the shelves to their final sizes. Then I drilled some pilot holes and screwed the bottom two shelves at an angle to be able to hold her shoes and glued on a front edge to those shelves to keep the shoes from sliding off. Then I added the rest of the shelves, being sure to evenly space them. Then before I started working on the vanity, I cut down the legs of this chair that I found on the side of the road so that I could be at her perfect height. And then I just cut down a spare piece of pine board for the vanity. And at first I traced a spray paint can for the rounded edges, but then I decided I needed more of a paint can sized curve. And if you wanted to, you could use a jigsaw for this part, but I just went over to the bandsaw to make a more accurate cut. I'm a little better with the bandsaw. And then I just sanded down the final edges. I made two 45 degree braces for the vanity area for some extra support, and I put that all together. Then I took off all the shelves so I can get in there easier to paint. And for the shelves, I did a technique called decoupage. So I put the Mod Podge on onto the piece, lay down the fabric, and Mod Podge on top of the fabric. And then I just use a razor blade to trim off the excess all around. And this is a super simple technique, but I think it added a lot to this whole project. And by now, you should be able to see a video completely about this on my channel. And after standing down the whole thing, my wife and I were able to put the first coat of paint on. And this is just basic household latex paint I'm using here, uh, which works really good in this application. Then I was able to put the shelves back on. And I filled in any of the screw holes with some wood filler. And then we just finished painting the whole thing. Uh, we went for a two-tone kind of color here. Dark pink on the inside, light pink on the outside. And for some added touches, my wife thought it would be a great idea to paint the back of the chair as well. And after some light sanding after the second coat of paint, I was able to put on two coats of wipe-on polyurethane.
Then my wife and I were able to fill it up before Santa came. I think my daughter has almost every single Disney princess dress, so this thing filled up pretty quickly. And so yeah, my daughter was so excited to get this on Christmas Day, and right away spent the whole day playing dress up, and my son even got in on the fun. And I think he wants one of his own, so look forward to seeing a superhero version of this pretty soon. So if you're not subscribed here, please go ahead and subscribe, and go ahead and hit that like button if you liked it. Leave me a comment, tell me anything you would do differently, or whatever you liked about it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and until next time, remember to make, create, and do what you love. Okay, bye guys.